how's it going? It's good here. Um, the reason I'm this close up and I almost wish I, I'm gonna slide back a little bit so we can see what's going on here. Today, I'm just gonna show you how I root a wig. Um, and I'm gonna specifically call this how to root a blonde wig. And the reason I wanna say that is because I know a lot of people do rooting several different ways. I've seen people use furniture markers. I've seen people use sharp, black Sharpies. Um, I always use this L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up in Dark Blonde um, for all of my wigs. And this is a summer wig um, that I have that I just got. And I actually have another one here I might do too. Um, and I've bought the lighter blonde, but it actually is almost the exact same color as this. So it doesn't put a root to it. It just, it's literally the exact same color. Um, so I think that the light blonde is more to cover up gray and the darker blonde. I, it, it looks dark in the picture, but it's really not that bad. So we've been talking in Leanne's group about rooting wigs. And if you aren't a member of Leanne's group, it's, um, I'll link it down below. It's beauty nook, like, um, it's beauty nook. And then it, I believe it's like makeup wigs that kind of, we, we talk about all kinds of things and Leanne's very, very nice and sweet and super professional and she does live wig sales and all kinds of things so if you're interested in her group the link will be down below um this wig i believe is brooke by envy and this is actually medium blonde uh the color medium blonde so again this might be different if if you have a darker wig because i i really feel like I would not want to put furniture markers or a Sharpie marker onto a light blonde that's this color. If you could find a lighter, I know there's a Copic, it's C-O-P-I-C markers at, um, their craft markers, you can get it at Michael's, and you might be able to find a color that's not going to be like super dramatic, but I don't really like a super dramatic root, I just like it to look pretty natural. Um, and that's just my, you know, own personal preference. But I just kind of want to show you like super quick how I put a little bit of a root into a wig. And I believe I've sprayed this on here a little bit already, but the color of this wig is, it, you know, it looks actually pretty light in the window there. It's coming across pretty well um, in the light, but I'll show you how I do it. Um, what I usually do is, let me grab a clip real quick. I'm gonna take just a little clip. And what I want to do is I kind of want to get underneath here a little bit. I want to start the root like underneath the hair and down from the scalp area. So I'm just going to pull a little bit of hair up and clip it. And you don't need to, do, like I don't go all the way down under here because I just want the root to kind of be towards the top anyways. So I just take my root spray. This might be hard to, I'm going to move around this way guys so I don't screw this up. So. Um, I just take it and I'll just spray it like kind of lightly, like right in this area right here, just like that. And you'll see it got darker there. And that's all I do right there. Then I put the hair down and I'll go up a little bit. And the other good thing about the root spray too is it's kind of like a dry shampoo. So it'll give your wig a little bit of texture. This is a synthetic wig. It's not human hair. So again, I'm just, I'm just kind of spraying it pretty lightly right where these wefts are at and so i just pretty much do this the whole way around the wig of course i just lost my clip so we're almost at the top of this wig let me find my clip too so we can sorry guys i'm a mess today and i dropped it again okay let's try this again <laughs> and we're almost at the top so again i'm just gonna lightly spray it and you can see it darkened up there Okay, and this is the top, so I'm going to skip doing the top right now. We'll come and do that last. So here's the other side. I'm hoping you guys can see this. And I'm going to go down a little bit to one of the, these wefts right here. Let me turn her this way. Let me grab my clip. I'm going to clip this hair out of the way. So I'm just spraying right along where the weft is, because that's, of course, where a natural rooting would occur. Let's spray that a little bit. And see how it turned dark right there? You can see the roots a little bit darker. So then we're just gonna go up maybe like another weft, or actually I'm about to hit the mono top. There's a mono top under here. So see, this is very light right there. And Envy wigs tend to have very chunky highlights. So and I'm just gonna spray that right there, just like that. See, it just gives it a really super light rooting. And I like to kind of just keep going up and up and up and splitting the hair 
and spraying it. And I'm really into the top by now, so let's switch over to the other side too. And I'm just gonna split the hair because we're we're the weft the last weft I sprayed was right here, and we're like into the mono top area. Let me get my comb here. And let me look at this. Oh, and actually, let me show you this too, because this is like the front of the wig. The other thing I like to do, and this has a lace front, I'm gonna pull back the front of her. Put the clip there. And we're just gonna lightly spray right along this hair right here. Super light, just like that, just a little bit. So then you'll see like, um, wherever you like to part your wig, or wherever I see I like a chunk where I don't really like it, like right here, you can see it's super chunky highlights right there. I'm gonna spray that a little bit. Just like that. So you can kind of just keep kind of combing and looking to see where, here's some chunky highlights here. On this side, let me tilt the wig a little bit this way. There, so I'm just gonna use my comb as kind of a clip. And I'm just gonna spray right there. So you can see, and you can just do that the whole way around the wig. I just, you know, even in the back, um, you want to find your wefts. And I just spray like pretty much right along the weft right there. Just like as if it was coming out of the hair, or uh, hair coming out of your head. So that, so you can see it just gives it a little bit of a dark shade to it. And that'll actually cover a lot of wefting too, if um, your wig's super light. So yeah, she's, you can see it's just kind of shaded there a little bit. Um, let me see if I can get my other wig on here, because I would say that's about all I do. And the other reason I like the L'Oreal spray is because it's, it's not permanent. It's going to be able to wash out. So if you screw up and you put too much rooting or whatnot, then, you know, if you put too much rooting, you can wash it out. It's not going to stay there. You, If you go in with this with a furniture marker or a Sharpie marker or some type of permanent, I don't know if furniture markers are permanent, but if you did that, you you know, and you screw up, then that, that could be bad if you just spent like two or three or four hundred dollars on a wig. So I really just kind of like that. You can see it just gives it like a shading to it. So let me see. One minute, seven minutes. We'll try the other wig. So I'll just slip it off of here. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it just gives it like almost like a shaded color to the top of the wig, right in the rooting. And that's why I lift it up and put it in the rooting, just like where your natural, where your natural hair would grow out of your head and leave a root to it. Okay, actually this next one, I don't, I hope I haven't put a root in it yet, and I don't think that I have, well I maybe have a little bit, but yeah, I think I have, but um, we can maybe get a little bit more in there. This is color, so you can tell I've put a little bit in here. This color is light blonde, I believe. And this is, actually this one is Brooke. I think the last one was Sheena by Envy. They're very similar, only one's uh, just a smidge longer than the other one, but they're pretty much the exact same type of style. I probably have this wig a little bit small because my head's only like 21, 21.25 inches or something like that. So sometimes mannequin heads are almost too big for me. And I, probably, I probably have the uh, elastic things pretty tight. And of course, I'm trying not to ruin this lace front either. Let me come down a little bit here. Yeah, her bangs are different in this one too as well. Um, this is definitely Brooke, I can tell. Her wing, her her bangs are shorter than the other one. And um, so you can see there's still some like chunky highlights. We're gonna get rid of those. And her, it's so light up here, you can see right down into the mono part. So let's just say this is the parting and I wanna root the parting. Let me shake this up and I'm just gonna, I keep my hair, the, the spray back kind of far. And I just want to lightly, very lightly spray, just like that, super light. See how it gave that a, like a shading to it? I'm going to do the same with the bangs in the front. Just want to spray super light. You can rub your fingers through it a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much how I root. I mean, it's pretty simple. 
um, I just take, I maybe go down a few wefts and start in the middle of the head here near the ear, pull it up, and just kind of stay back and just spray it a little bit there, just to leave like a shading. And then you put, put the hair down. But yeah, that's the top of the rooting on this one now. And um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I do to these. Um, a lot of times, too, I'll spray, you know, the inside here right along where the bangs start um, on this mono top. And, or if you have a lace front, just a little bit right around here because that's, you know, hair grows out of there and... I'm just going to spray just right there, just super light spray right around there. And I wear a lot of bronzer in the summer too, so or tanner, so that will really match with my, with my bronzer in the summertime. So yeah, you can see I actually rooted that one like quite, quite a lot right there. But Envy, th this light blonde, it was so freaking blonde, I don't even know if I could have wore it without, <laughs> without rooting it. So yeah guys, that's pretty much what I do to root. Um, it's pretty easy, super simple, and again, if you use the root spray that's temporary, and it's just a temporary gray cover-up, then you won't have to worry about screwing up. You can always wash it out if you need to. Um, it's better than taking like a permanent marker and drawing on it or, you know, but again, everybody does it their own way. No way is right, no way is wrong. Just do what's best for you and experiment a little bit. That's why I would suggest if you've never rooted a wig, try and use the temporary color first so that you do have the option to wash it out in case you screw it up. Plus you may need a different color, you know, if you, depending if you're like a brown or you need a dark color, then, you know, start lighter and work your way down just in case. But um, yeah, that's it guys. So I just wanted to share with you how I root my blonde wigs. Thanks for watching.